Hello and welcome to the VBA Jetpack course by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video we will talk about the VB Editor. We will see how to access VB Editor in Excel, the structure of VB Editor and some important options that you can use. So let's get started. Now here I have Excel 2013 a new workbook open. The name of the workbook is Book 1 and if you have any version of Excel. You don't need to install anything to access VBA. You don't need any add-in, you don't need any uh, different setup. All you need is Excel and if you have Excel you can access VBA. So let me show you different ways to access VB editor window. In this case here I have the developer tab. In your Excel version if you do not have developer tab you can add it by simply right clicking on any of the tabs go to customize the ribbon and within customize the ribbon you would have this option developer if you're not seeing the developer tab this would be unchecked simply check this and press OK and when you do that you would have the developer tab visible if you're using Excel 2007 then you would have to go into the Excel options to enable it when I click on the developer tab here I have these various groups within the code group I have this visual basic option and if I hover over it you can see that it says visual basic and the keyboard shortcut is alt F11 so the two methods that we have already seen is you can either click on this button or you can use the keyboard shortcut alt F11 let me show you what happens when I click on this button as soon as I click here it opens a completely new window which is the Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications and then the name of the workbook. Now if you are looking at this window for the very first time do not get overwhelmed by all these options. Uh, we will go through these again and again but there are some important part that we would cover in this video. The first thing to note here is Project VBA project. This is the project window uh, it's called the project explorer window where you would see all the workbooks as of now I only have one Excel workbook open uh, which is book one so it says VBA project book one if I save this say with the name test then it would say test.xlsx or test.xlsm whatever format I use here if you hover over the icon the Excel icon here you would also see that now I have two windows one which is the basic normal Excel and one which is the VB editor now here you would see the objects as I mentioned in the previous video uh, VBA is nothing but object oriented programming so it has many objects which starts with Excel so Excel is an object which has this workbook book one and then within workbook we have these worksheets so here I have Microsoft Excel objects and within this we have sheet one and the entire workbook if I go back here and I add another sheet say sheet two and now I go back here you would see that it has added sheet two so these are the different objects uh, that are listed here now the other thing would be the properties window so if I go to this menu here and uh, if I go to view and I click on properties window or the keyboard shortcut is F4 then I have this properties window available if you want to make this visible just select the object and you can also click on this part in the properties window I have the properties for the selected object so in this case if I have selected sheet 1 then I have the properties for sheet 1 if I select say sheet 2 then I have the properties for sheet 2 here now an interesting thing to note here is that every object especially the sheet objects here uh, would have two names one would be the internal name and one would be the external name so here you can see it says sheet 1 and within brackets it it also says sheet 1 now let's see what happens if I go back to Excel and I name this sheet as test 1 and now go back to Visual Basic I can either click on this icon or press the keyboard shortcut Alt F11 see what has happened now it says sheet 1 and within bracket it says test 1 which means that in the brackets we have the name that can be changed by the user but this name sheet 1 cannot be changed by the user so in the properties window you would see that we have a name which is in bracket 
here sheet 1 and we have the name which is test 1 this is the one that the user can change but this is the one that the user cannot change so if you rename this sheet to anything say ABC1 then this is the name that you can also use to refer to your worksheets now without getting too technical just understand that there are two names that you can use we will see how we use it later when we talk about worksheets another important thing to note here is that there are conventions while you're naming the worksheet so for example I cannot use a space here if I do that it will say not a legal object name ABC1 so I can either use uh, a word which has no space characters or I can use an underscore here this is almost the same convention that we use for named ranges as well now we have the project explorer window here we have the properties window here this is the toolbar section so if you go through these options these are the standard 2003 style of options where you have these uh, buttons available and as you go through these buttons you would have different options available uh, don't get overwhelmed by all these options if you're looking at this for the first time all these would be quite new to you but don't worry we will go through these options when we go through this course we also have this toolbar where we have these icons you can customize this by clicking on add or remove buttons so you can have this or you can also customize this now within VBA we have to have a, an area where we can write the code so it would be here but before that let me show you something I would insert a module and when I go to the insert button it shows me these options user form module and class module uh, we would talk about these two options user form and class module later in this course but I want to talk about module if I click on it it inserts a module and you can see there is a new folder here module and it says module 1 and at the same time I have this window available this is the code window this is where I would write my code and that code would be executed by either pressing a button or using a keyboard shortcut so if I double click on module 1 I have this available if I add say another module it would be module 2 if I want to rename these modules I can right click but I can see there is no rename option so I would again have to go back to the properties window and here I can rename the module to say VBE introduction and I can then rename these modules as well now when you double click on say module 2 then it opens the code window for module 2 you can see here it says module 2 code if I double click on this now it says VBE introduction code and here is where your code would go if you want to delete these modules you can right click and go to remove VB introduction but when you click on it Excel would show you this prompt do you want to export VB introduction before removing it we have this tendency of clicking yes as soon as we delete something but in this case you would have to press no if you don't want to export it if you press yes it would open this window where you it would ask you to give it the location where it wants to export the file if you want to delete these individual elements say for example if I want to delete the properties window I can simply activate it and click on this similarly you can delete the project explorer and you can also delete the code window so here I can delete this window but when I delete it you would have different code windows for different modules say for example I have opened it for module 2 and VBA introduction both then I would have to close it twice and when I do that then all the screens are gone if I want these these back then I can go to view and then I can get these back so for example I can go to properties window and I can have the properties window back if I want the code window I can simply double click on the module name and it will come back so all in all there are uh, in the structure of VB editor there are these four components that you need to know the first one is these toolbars and these options they they remain at their own place and you can use them uh, for adding or removing or doing a lot of other stuff we have this project explorer here and you use it while you're accessing different objects in the Microsoft Excel application we have the properties window uh, you can dock this so if I want to move this properties window I can start removing it and I can put it anywhere so whenever you can see this black this uh, thick line around it and I leave it anywhere it'll it'll it is almost like a free floating object and I can put it anywhere if I want it want to dock it here I can leave it here if I want to dock it back and bring it back here I can leave it here 
then we have the code window here where the code goes. So there are four parts, this toolbar, project explorer, properties window and the code window. Now there is one more thing that I want to cover in this video and that is the object browser. If you go to the view option here you have object browser. If I click on this or I can use the keyboard shortcut F2 it opens the object browser here for me. So in this case you have this drop down where you can select the library. You can either select all libraries or there is Excel, Office, STDOLA, VBA and VBA project. Don't worry about these names. Let's say we focus on Excel and I want to search for something. Say I want to search for chart and as soon as I hit enter it would give me this library here which is Excel and it would give me all these options so these is this is an application object and within application we have these active chart member since I have search for chart it would give me anything that contains this text string so say I go and I select chart here then it will show me all the members of chart family. So in this case if I go and I select this you can see that I have all these members. Now there are these different icons that you see. Uh, this small yellow icon means an event. This flying cube means that it's a method and this finger pointing downward means that this is a property. Then now uh, do not worry a lot about these icons. We will talk about these videos but just to give you a brief a property say in an Excel cell a property would be the color or the font. Uh, the method would be uh, to copy it, to delete it and uh, an event would be that if someone double clicks on the cell then something happens. So don't worry a lot about these these icons and these uh, members but just to give you a brief these are there and if you are an, a newbie in Excel then you can use this object browser effectively by searching for these. Now uh, a lot of even advanced users would not know everything about VBA so if you are struggling with VBA or if you want to know more about the kind of objects there are and then uh, the objects related to those or methods or properties then you can search here. If you are getting overwhelmed by this uh, forget it don't worry about it. We would see how these things can be used effectively later in this course. So that's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.